But we'll turn now to the latest and the downfall of New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo. Uh, he was the impeachment probe has been suspended after he designs, resigns despite credible evidence of wrongdoing. Uh, last Friday, the Democratic State Assembly did actually, actually suspend that investigation. We're joined now by Mark Malnaro. He is a former New York gubernatorial candidate, also the current Dutchess County executive. Mark, my friend, good to see you. Uh, so... Here's to you. I mean, you've been saying for a long time there were plenty of things about this governor that had been swept under the rug. He leaves office now, a uh, 14-day uh, window there. But what say you about what has transpired here in our state? Well, listen, uh, first, it's an embarrassment. And uh, the sooner we can wipe clean this uh, chapter uh, of abuse in New York state history, the better off we are. But not without accountability. And what the Assembly uh, announced uh, just yesterday uh, really is it's not only disappointing, uh, it's dangerous. Uh, we knew that when the governor made his announcement to resign uh, 14 days from now, uh, that there was going to be some underhanded uh, activity. There's no question. Think about it for a second, though. If in any other business, an individual has had 10 years of creating victims, remember, New Yorkers through pay-to-pay -pay politics uh, in this state victimized, women within this administration victimized and abused, thousands of seniors lost their lives because of a decision he made during uh, this pandemic. Uh, victims, victims, victims. Anyone else, anywhere else, in any other line of work would have been ushered out of the building, taken, has, had his keys taken away, computers locked, and an immediate investigation. Instead, what it seems the Assembly and the state legislative leaders are giving him is a free pass, and that's dangerous. Well, to that point, the question becomes, what is he doing in these two weeks? I mean, obviously, uh, again, he doesn't need to be there to oversee the cleaning out of the drawers and the bubble wrapping of the pictures. Uh, is there perhaps something else happening here with that first domino being uh, this investigation or rather impeachment proceeding being suspended? Listen, there's little doubt. This man, uh, through politi selfish political action, has leveraged every dollar and resource of state government for his personal and political benefit. And what's going on right now, without a doubt, is he continues to use that levers of state government, the pressure and the bullying that he can engage in uh, to shut down an impeachment investigation, which ought to be public, right? There, there has to be a release of the Judiciary Committee's uh, investigation and likely putting pressure on the federal government, President Biden, Democratic leaders in Congress, to stop the federal investigations that are underway. Remember, this is the most scandal-plagued administration in New York State history. And this individual uh, needs to be held accountable. And those who've been victimized deserve justice. Well, to that point, you're looking at how do you change the tide uh, in a state that's been run with an iron fist by Governor Cuomo for 12 years. We've had, uh, in many ways, close to 24 years of Cuomo rule and very little to show for it. You ran for governor in 2018, got around 2.2 million votes. President Trump got about 3.2 million in 2020, less than the 3.6 million that Governor Cuomo earned last time around. What do you think the prospects are, particularly in this environment here in this state? state with the out of control spending in DC and with the corruption we've seen here at home to try to turn this blue state uh, red again. Yeah, this is our opportunity, uh, but we have to come to the table uh, honest and earnest about the challenge, right? We have to convince Democrats and those without party affiliation that we're serious about cleaning this state. And by the way, single party rule from Washington to Albany is apple absolutely corroding. Uh, and eroding democracy in this country. And this governor and the state legislative leaders, the Democrats all throughout the state of New York, have absolutely abused democracy in this state. And so I think what we're seeing right now is our opportunity, because Democratic leaders aren't seemingly willing to hold this individual accountable. Thousands and thousands of victims, millions upon millions of dollars that he's benefited from, your taxpayer money. This is our chance to say, listen, the single party rule in this state, Democrats in Congress, Democrats in the state legislature are unwilling to stand up and wipe clean this horrible stain and this corrosive environment from Albany. So if they won't, we will. And we have to be earnest and honest with them that we intend to do that. And if we do, I think we open up opportunities to make the state affordable, uh, accountable, uh, and responsive to the people it serves. Absolutely. Now, sticking quickly with Cuomo, obviously, his lieutenant governor, Kathy Hochul, says she's planning on running uh, to take that seat in a full-time capacity in 2022. Want to take a listen to that and then get back to you. 
Will you run for your full term in your own right next year? Yes, I will. I fully expect to. I'm prepared for this. I've le led a life working in every level of government, from Congress to local government. I am the most prepared person to assume this responsibility, and, I, and I'm going to uh, ask the voters at some point for their faith in me again. But right now, I need their faith, I need their prayers, and I need their support to make sure we get this right. Now, we know how critical the 2022 midterm will be, not just uh, for our party, but certainly for our country. Uh, we know that you have said that you uh, will not be running for governor at this particular point in time in 2022. Uh, but what are your thoughts for any other opportunities you may be looking at? And how do you think we can message as a party uh, to ensure that we can start clawing back those one party rule majorities from D.C. to New York and beyond? Well, listen, what we've done in this state and what Democrats have done in this state uh, is horrifying to people all across the country. And we're exporting cashless bail, dangerous uh, policies that threaten public safety, lack of accountability. There, there's an opportunity. Uh, I am absolutely grateful to the outpouring of support I've gotten. Folks have been calling me to, to run for Congress, uh, to run to consider running for governor. Uh, I'm weighing those options. I intend to uh, move forward. Uh, I am not going to shirk for my responsibility to stand up and fight for New Yorkers, uh, fight for Americans. I always have. Uh, every day of my adult life. And so I do think this, though, we have absolutely, ha absolutely have to speak out to Americans and to New Yorkers and say, we will hold government accountable. We will make it responsive to the people it serves, that we believe uh, not only in economic, but in personal liberty and freedom, and that we've got to drive down costs and make government work for us, not the other way around. There's going to be a chance for me to make that case. Uh, and I intend to do it. Absolutely. Mark Monero, 2.2 million people believed in New York, believed in you. Maybe we'll make them believe in America again. As always, good to see you, my friend. Talk soon. Same here, Joe. Thanks. All right. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.